my god. If you're looking for a book that will really test what you think you know about society and about our modern day culture, you should really look into Eldon Taylor's Mind Programming. It's a phenomenal book that really makes you aware of not only what is going on, but in the various ways in which you can learn to take back your mind. And it's a phenomenally written book with quite a lot of information and a lot of insight that I highly, highly recommend. The following is an excerpt from the book. The story is called The Four Views. A wise master had four students who exceeded all others. One day the five gathered and the master spoke to the first student. Tell me what you see when you look into the world. I see savagery. The planet is raped. The world hides from the truth. Contaminating material is released everywhere. There's a particulate matter in the heavens and acid rain. The rainforests are being destroyed and so is the ozone layer. There's such ignorance and selfishness. The world needs so much correction. The master replied, you are right. And I shall call you correction. For you by your vision have committed to a world of need. To a second student, the master put the same query. Tell me what you see when you look into the world. The second student replied, Master, I see futility. Nothing can be done to change the ways of the world, although some will repent and call for change. Still, the world is condemned by the acts of humans. The scientist teaches that too many people are being born, too much destruction has already been done, too little money is provided for science to adequately assist, and there's too little concern for ethics and values. Crime escalates while families decay. Law is lost. You too are right, and I shall call you righteous, for your indignation beholds a corrupt world beyond repair, while your heart suffers its pain. You shall be known for your words, and your works will express the sadness of your heart. The master turned his gaze to the third student. And you, what do you see? I see a world needing the restoration of law. I don't believe that hope is lost. I find encouragement in the words of my brothers, for they too recognize the need for a change. It's with confidence that I sense the willingness of humankind to change. All good government is government of the people and for the people. It's through law and government that change can be effected. The mass will follow the right action and attitude of government. The agent for change exists and it's law and government. You are also right. I shall call you government, for your words forge your observations and become what you teach. You will therefore be committed to a work of law and order through government. Finally, to the fourth student, the master puts the same question. And what do you see? Master, I behold only miracles. Life is a miracle. All being is a miracle. Consciousness is a miracle. I behold God in all creation. I sense the beauty of love and the fragrance of the flower and the smile of a child, in the warmth of lovers and in the glow of the stars. When I look upon the world, I'm greeted with its mysteries. It's with awe and reverence that each day unfolds its beauty. I know that all things are good and that each expresses its good in its own appropriate manner for the moment. I know that that which my brothers speak about is but illusion for only the eternal is real. I'll give no power to thoughts of scarcity, of limitation, or of need, for all that's truly needed is here, for us to behold, to recognize, and to accept. I wish only to give to the world the sight I've been given, for with these modest eyes and senses, my heart is quickened by the glory of being. The master smiled before he spoke, and you, my chosen student, I will call you truth, for your vision is of truth, and its reward is the reality it sees. You shall go into humankind and teach from what you see, for yours is the vision of what is, and all that is possible rests in this peace. You shall be known by all people through your garments of serenity and peace. The master speaking to all of them added these words. To each of you is a blessing of your vision, as you see the world, so it reveals itself to you. You will know the world by your vision of it. 
to each of you will go the works of your sight. You'll experience life according to your vision. The story ends with the following paragraph. Not only is our reality a matter of choice, but so is the power we give it. Only the eternal is incorruptible. Therefore, only the eternal is true. All else is inherently false by definition. To be a master, one must begin by acting like a master. To grow, we must give. The old saying, you can't receive if the cup is full, is absolutely true of the human condition. As we sow, so do we reap. The first step then in self-actualization is to give forgiveness and care. The old deep mind link memories disappear. The new memories become both the process and the goal. Elvin, you're awesome. Thanks for tuning in for another awesome episode by the Karmic Press. We greatly appreciate you tuning in. We greatly appreciate your existence. Always ask questions. Do not be afraid to seek out the answers. Always go in love. Keep smiling, keep shining, and take it easy. Until next time.